um, <laughs> that was really intense. Um, I took my glasses off so that my eyes wouldn't be shielded by all the reflections. Um, I just saw the young Messiah and, um, and it was really intense watching the Antichrist walk around and whisper into, into people's ears, turning people against me, um, making them hate me for no reason, making them attack me for no reason, and um, putting it in their heads that I was the devil. <laughs> Satana, right hand of Satan. Um, things like that, uh, suggesting that my gifts uh, or my um, special talents, abilities, whatever, um, came from the devil rather than God. So, and the fact that I, uh, I was in danger all the time and yet kept safe. Um, obviously the fact that my mother's father tried to beat her to death when he found out she was pregnant with me was the work of the enemy, let's just call it. It's like using any of the words that we have for the Antichrist seems trite or melodramatic or something like that. Uh, we don't. I don't know, it all just seems like a, a, a game or a play or a movie or something, and it's not. It's my life. Um, and then it was fascinating to watch, I mean, what was going on in the movie is that he, he doesn't know who he is, and uh, he's seven years old, and so he starts to ask, because it's time for him to find out who he is. Um, and so he finds out a little bit about who he is, what he's here to do, um, why he's different. Uh, but he's still a child, and so that, you know, he hasn't told everything. But I'm in the process of learning everything. Um, two years now of revelations and especially that moment when he's at the waterfall and he all of a sudden he understands why God told people to be baptized. <laughs> um, things like that happen to me all the time where all of a sudden I look at something that's been going on forever and I just didn't understand why. So, and you know, he wasn't given to a scribe, he was given to a carpenter and his wife uh, and lived in poverty and anonymity. And here I am in Idaho um, with a special ed teacher assistant for a mother. Um, my father I never even really knew. Um, I've been impoverished all my life and rejected and and ostracized and betrayed and abandoned all my life um, and here I sit you know in my van invisible anonymous kept safe though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I'll fear no evil so that was extremely intense and um, I, I just, I'm having an amazing day because I know that all of these movies are my learning. Barry said it was a week of teaching and learning and of course I'll be teaching, but I'm also learning. Five movies today and I know every one of them has a message for me. So. This was the first one, and I felt like I definitely needed to make a video about it. I even cleared all the videos off of my phone last night, uh, even though I didn't know I'd be making these videos today, but obviously this is what that's about, so I can't make them too long because my phone doesn't have that much space, so I'm going to end this one here. Um, all right, <laughs> one down, four to go. Peace out.
I do, I want to add <laughs> that um, looking at my previous life and, and oh, I got my glasses on. Well, that's okay. And oh, I fixed my hair. <sighs> I feel spoiled. I feel utterly spoiled because um, this whole, well, my life, I've grown up around the least of these. I've grown up around people who were desperately poor and, and, had all kinds of physical and mental disabilities, you know, the broken, the, the um, damaged, the sick, the hopeless. Um, people have no, no chance at a happy life, really. Um, but I wasn't, I didn't grow up in the trailer courts. My mother, um, you know, she worked extremely hard and um, we got out of the trailer court very quickly and we had a trailer um, for many years uh, but it was on a little piece of land with my grandmother and she had her own trailer and uh, and then later on you know we had a little crappy house and then we had a you know better house and then actually we kind of went from a trailer to a better house and then a crappy house <laughs> my point is is that my initiation journey was hard it was challenging it had all kinds of challenges and of course I learned to live the way homeless people do, the way adventure travelers do, and uh, and I I still, you know, I have no money, I have no possessions, um, but I'm completely provided for, and I just feel so fucking spoiled. Um, I just I I just I just want to thank God for all of the luxuries and the provisions and the love and the safety that I've been given on this mission and on my initiation journey because I've really been so well taken care of and I just had to say that on film I feel spoiled and I don't even really know why because I haven't even done anything to to deserve this yet <laughs> I mean oh that was stupid um we are all you know children of the one true king I just mean that um you know it was harder back then and it could have been harder this time, and it just wasn't. Um, so here I, you know, complaining about the things that I don't like, but this is where I take the time out to say that I'm really grateful for how completely easy I have had it, and, um, and I, I feel spoiled. So thank you to the great us, the divine goddess you have fed me very well and um, just thank you thank you